Hey, 15 stories here. This is story number 21. And this story is a reflection of uh, about, I don't know, six months ago. So I put out a, a request for questions about myself. Um, and one of the questions was, what's the hardest thing you've ever done? And it's an interesting question because I've done so many difficult things. Um, but one of the most difficult things that I've ever done was while in the Marine Corps, I attended Marine Combat Training, which is uh, a training that you go to right after boot camp, if you graduate boot camp. And while at Marine Combat Training, uh, one of the things that you have to do is uh, your, your platoon um, gets all your gear, uh, your rifle, your gear, ammo, water, food. Um, so you got your Atlas pack, your backpack, essentially. You've got a roll, uh, a mat to sleep on. You've got half of a tent. Uh, somebody else has the other half and you guys got, you, you're already paired up. Um, you got your tent poles. You got your, uh, I don't know if I said can two canteens, um, two, two, uh, four full round clips, uh, or magazines, um, and then two grenades. And you have to, uh, you, you, I mean, you, the truck takes you so far, you get out of the trucks and, um, you, you eat and hydrate and then you carry your own 60 to 80 pound gear. Uh, into a mountainous terrain. Um, uh, it's about five, we, we go about five miles in and, but you don't do it all at the same time. We'd break it up. Um, we would, uh, we'd go in and, and to a certain point and, uh, rest for the night, set up camp, rest for the night. And first thing in the morning, get about six hours of sleep. Um, do the same thing every night. Uh, get a, get a mile, mile and a half in or so tracking enemy locations. Um, doing that kind of stuff. And every night, uh, you know, you start to, um, depending on the terrain you're in, um, anyway, you would have to maybe dig a fighting hole. In the army, they called a foxhole, but you dig a little bit in just to be able to get yourself out of the elements a little bit because I think the third night it started pouring, um, like 80% of every night. <laughs> so every day you woke up wet and miserable and your dry socks were wet now and your gear was wet, your rifles wet, everything weighs more. Um, but we still have to move out first thing in the morning. Um, and I think on like the fifth night, I, I started not feeling well and, uh, it got worse. And like the sixth night, this went on for like two weeks. Um, and at the end, we were coming back and, uh, I collapsed. I don't even remember what happened after that. Um, I blacked out. All I remember was, <laughs> I just remember feeling so heavy, <laughs> so miserable. Um, yeah, it was so, it was, it was, this was, this was like, this was a long time ago. This is 30 years, 35 years ago or so. Um, I was just a kid and, uh, but I, I just remember it was, and it was pouring, I remember it was pouring rain, my cover, my hat, from just so much rain, it was just like this, it was, I remember it was dark and we were using red lights for sight and it was just pouring, pouring, pouring rain. And all I kept thinking was, what am I doing? What am I doing? Why? What? Who, do, who would do this to themselves? <laughs> but I also kept remembering, I ain't going back home 
No, sir. And, uh, anyway, I woke up two days later in the hospital. I had pneumonia, collapsed. I'm sure, you know, they just kept going on until the, to the, uh, medics came up behind us or the, uh, oh man, medics is army. What do we call them in the Navy? Um, wow, this is docs is what corpsmen. Yeah, corpsmen. Once the corpsman vehicle came up, you know, they got me in the, the Humvee and got me back to camp and, uh, and fixed me up. But yeah, I was out for a long time. Um, I was completely out for two days and then I was essentially in and out of it for like a week. Um, and so they got me back to, uh, so I could walk again. But that was, that was one of the hardest thing I ever did was push it, push it, push it until I couldn't push it anymore. That is not healthy behavior. Um, but if you put yourself into a situation like the Marine Corps, then, you know, you, you got to prepare yourself for that situation. I was a heavy smoker too at the time. Pneumonia is a lung condition. So it was, it was most likely, you know, uh, 80% my fault, but there was a lot of people that got really sick, um, because it was frigid temperatures and wet 24 hours a day for several, several days at a time. And when the sun comes out, uh, when the sun come, when the sun would come out, um, oh, it was such a blessing. It was such a, a blessing. Oh, well, yeah, I can I can just see it coming out. Oh, it's like hallelujah. Whew. Even though you're still tired, hungry, thirsty, sick, when that sun would hit you, it was like it's another day and I got this. It's another day and I got this. And then we get moving. Friends, Marines would keep you going, encourage you, not in that nag negative way, um, like boot camp and everything, uh, drill instructors, and you know, you got Marines around you that are like, oh, you know, let me help you, let me carry your pack, let me carry your rifle, let me, uh, let's get through this. And that's how the Marine Corps was all the way through. Extreme camaraderie, you know, um, and, and it's recipro reciprocal, meaning it comes back around. You know, I had to carry other people's packs, helmets, gear, food at other times. And, uh, that's, yeah, that's, that's to me, the politics of the Marine Corps were a nightmare, but the camaraderie of the Marines, that type of a brotherhood. Listen, this is why I went into law. Here we go. This is why I went to law enforcement. Kind of. I asked the counselor what I could get into without doing math. She said law enforcement. I said, yeah, I just got the Marines. You know, that sounds, you know, camaraderie. That's what I really missed. I missed that brotherhood. I missed that. You know, in the hood, they call it the ride and die. You know, I'll ride with you and I'll die for you. That's family. Ride through the storms. Ride through everything that this world throws at you. To ride or die, you know, I'll do that for my family. <laughs> I'll ride with a lot of people. I'll ride with, I'll ride with legit true Christians. I'll ride through storms. But, um, that, that's all another thing. We can talk about it. Oh man, I got lost. Oh. Uh, Marine Corps, yes, camaraderie. So that's, uh, I really miss the camaraderie of the Corps. And I got into law enforcement and it's not the same. I'm telling you right now. It's not, the, not even close. Um, yeah, on either side, the ride or the die. Um, for the good or the bad, you know, um, but it shouldn't be because as a completely separate type of, uh, of protect and serve situation, um, So, and, and that's what I was really disappointed with law enforcement for that aspect. Um, it was close, but, uh, it didn't, it didn't hit home. Uh, so yeah. However, 
that's the other thing I want to throw out there. Last thing. Um, Christianity is very comparable to that camaraderie. The brotherhood is very comparable. Because when you're in the Marines, you're surrounded by the sa- people of the same nature, same culture, different backgrounds, different everything. But then you have this unification of the Marines, but then inside of that, ooh, there was all kinds of Marines I didn't like or get a, not even close. But then there was certain Marines that I got along with very well, depending on where I was. I was in many different locations. Um, so I, you know, for some reason, when I was in North Carolina, I got grouped up with the kind of rowdy crowd that, um, I don't know. Um, Japan was amazing. Um, but I bounced around in Japan too from, uh, Schwab to, uh, to Tenma and, uh, Foster and there was another one north of the island with the infantry. Um, I didn't serve, I didn't, I wasn't stationed there completely just for a little bit. Uh, Schwab and if anybody knows, let me know what was up there. Schwab and Hansen. There we go. Um, I bounced around a lot, but you still had these quick camaraderies. You know who's who, who likes what, who does what, and you quickly get in these situations where it's a ride or die. You know, there's you, you know who you are going to do what for. And that's how Christianity is too. Uh, it's beautiful, but it's all biblical. It's all about God. It's all about love and Jesus and the Holy Spirit. The three, the three and one. It's, it's not God, Jesus, and this maybe not all three. So peace, love you, God bless.